Good afternoon, folks. We've got the fully updated forecast for CME Impact on Sunday night, what to expect, and more. This is the eruption off the north. We'll get a zoomed-in look at the tsunami of fire, the burning wave of plasma at the eruption point. When you see that, and especially when you see the arching fields brightly connecting to the tsunami front, you know a CME has been released. As we said in last night's video, the coronagraphs are not at all obtuse. This is a full halo CME and it is coming our way. We confirmed this on stereo, which clearly shows the eruption, heading off in the direction of Earth. Last night, none of the Enlil spirals were updated, but both are updated now. Both confirm last night's initial forecast. CME will impact Earth on Sunday evening, USA time. That's Sunday night for Europe and Monday morning for Australia. With the coronal hole stream set to impact just one day later, we do have the chance for high-level geomagnetic activity. While this will likely be a fantastic auroral display, it's almost certainly not the big scary one that sends us back to the Stone Age. At most, we should expect large system disruptions and electrical glitches, electrical fires, etc. We do not expect the same level of satellite trouble SpaceX had during that last solar storm, since no satellites are currently at that low validation orbit in the danger zone. Expect moderate to strong geomagnetic storms, but not major ones. Expect strong auroral displays and potential electric problems, but no grid collapse. The Zarkova sunspot maximum is kicking into full swing. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.